I'm not a fan of using email as a to-do list. I'm definitely not a fan of using your email app as a task or project manager either. But there's an app that I've been putting through the paces that I think bridges that gap quite nicely and has made me change my tune. I'm gonna showcase that app in this video, which I don't showcase apps very often, so you'll wanna pay attention. Let's get started. Okay, so if you've been following my work for a long time, you know that I'm a big believer in that your productivity can be hampered by your email checking of habits. If you check email first thing in the morning, what you're saying to yourself in a lot of cases is what I have in mind for today isn't nearly as important as what other people have in mind for me and so on. But there is an app that I have been putting through the paces over the past month or so that I believe bridges the gap between communication and task management in a way that I haven't seen before. And it's only getting better. And I've only scratched the surface of what this, this app can do. This app is called Front. And it has really transformed the way that me and my team handle communications. I'm gonna showcase how I use it in my workflow just as at, from the outset. And hopefully you'll see how it can work for you and your team because again, I don't endorse email apps very often, especially ones that are gonna kind of take some of the load off your task management tool, whether you're using Asana, Todoist, Trello, whatever. But this app front is an app that I believe can really transform your personal productivity and time management in ways that no other email application or a, an app that handles email can. Remember, this is just the beginning for me with Front. I'm, I'm a big fan of what they're doing so far with this app. There's a lot of other things that I can explore, but just for starters, here's what I've got going on inside the app. Rather than give you a full tutorial of Front, I'm going to share with you how I use it in tandem with Asana. After all, there are plenty of resources available directly from Front that can help you out with the other stuff. By the way, you can do this with Trello and other apps as well. We just use Asana. Check out all the integration Front offers in the link found in the description. You're welcome. I want to sign this to Connie. And then what happens is I can type in the comment, can you please let this person know that we are not interested at this time. So I can give very specific instructions and then she'll see that there. So that's a conversation. So instead of this happening in an email thread, it's happening inside of a conversation. And then if you go to Connie's, you could see that there it is right there. It's not, it's no, the podcast inbox. If we go to unassigned, there's nothing there. Open, it's open though, because it's an open assignment, right? And then all the other ones are, are archived already. So as soon as I assigned it, it became unarchived, as you can see here. And now it's assigned to Connie. Now what Connie can do, is Connie can then type in here and uh, she could type in, hey, yes, I know it's Mike and so on and so forth. And then she, when she completes it, she can then say, I'm done, right? Now she can assign it. So if she wants to assign it back to me, she can. She can also move it to a different inbox if she wants a different team inbox, which is great. And then she can tag it. Now this is where it gets interesting. What I'm doing right now with this, because we're still trying to, you know, use Front on, you know, with a, as as a team uh, together, but we don't want to necessarily bring every task into Asana. Is I can say, don't worry about adding this to Asana. Right, just complete it here in Front. So I could do, I could be very specific about it. But if I wanted her to add it to Asana, and, I, and again, the whole idea here is to have less stuff go into Asana because we have a lot of things coming our way, is I can add a tag. So see here, I can create a task name. So we'll call it like contact podcast guest to decline invitation. And then it's productivityist. The it, There's a ton of podcasts, so we can go podcast administrative. There is tons of tasks that, you can either attach it to a task or not. I can include the latest message as a comment and I can create a due date. So we'll do that for today. And I can, again, assign it to Connie and then I can create tags and because I use, so this would be a listening tag because it's related to a podcast. That's of course, according to my theme days. And then I create the task. And then I'm gonna show you how that looks inside of Asana. That's if you want to bring it into Asana. That's a great thing is you have choices. So. 
you could say, don't worry about putting this in Asana. And by the way, you can edit and delete comments as well. So if we go to Asana now, what you'll see is look at this. So the front conversation is there. It's attached as a, as a comment in the description. It's attached as in the description, rather. That's the conversation. And then what you can do is there's the actual comment. So my name is, the email is actually in there. And then she can mark it as complete. So because I've integrated front with Asana, I'm able to do a lot of things that allow them to talk and work in tandem, right? But I have put in tasks in Asana like check front assigned emails or emails assigned in front to my assistant. So that way nothing kind of slips through the cracks because again, it's a new tool that we're using. So you may want to do the same if you're bringing somebody on or even if you're actually uh, using it for the first time, you may want to put a task in your to-do list app of choice saying, hey, don't forget to check front and make sure that any emails that are in that you've assigned to yourself or have been assigned to you that you're taking care of them. Because there is this hybrid kind of uh, way that front operates, which I love. And, and so it, it, to me, it's, it's not like you have two different task management applications, but each of them handles different types of tasks in a way that really I haven't seen before. I was, I've was i been talking to a lot of people about Front and I don't talk a lot about apps anymore. I'm a big believer in the approach first and the application second, but what Front does is it gives me the capability to better uh, kind of facilitate my approach because what I can do is I can say, hey, someone wants to be on my podcast. That email has come directly to me. I don't want to forward that or put that into Asana necessarily, but what I do want to do is assign it to my assistant. So I'm just going to, quickly assign it to my assistant and boom, it's done. So again, I think that there is a place in, in your productivity workflow like there was in mine for Front and I encourage you to check it out. I've got a link below, but you can check out frontapp.com slash timecrafting to get your free trial. I don't endorse apps very often at all. I used to write about apps a lot, but again, like I said, applications kind of can come and go. Front. They've got some staying power. In my arsenal, they've, they've got uh, a lot of great tools that I believe will enhance your communication experience and your collaboration. And I strongly encourage you to check it out. If it's transformed my productivity and my team's productivity, I believe it'll do the same for you. So check out Front today. Did you like this video? If you wanna see more of it, leave a comment down below. I will start talking about more apps, these time crafting tools as I'm calling them. I'll do that, so just let me know what app, what you like about Front, what you don't like about Front, and if you want me to talk about more apps, please list that in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna make sure you don't miss a single video from this channel, then make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell because doing that will make sure you don't miss a single video that we post here. Thanks again for watching and see you later.